Hello everyone, I am Malindu. Welcome back to Ramal lesson. Hope that you are doing well. Okay, in this lesson I am going to teach you past perfect tense. This past perfect tense we use to describe a completed activity in the past before happened something else. In other words, past perfect tense is used to show that an action took place once or many times before another point in the past. Okay, everyone. Let's talk about structure of past perfect tense. For positive statements, we use subject plus auxiliary verb have past simple conjugated form had with verb past participle form. Negatives are indicated by not between had and verb past participle forms. So when you are going to make questions, we can use, we can invert the subject and auxiliary verb had. Hello everyone, now we are going to turn our attention to uses of past perfect tense. Okay, this past perfect tense is used to talk about completed action in the past before another action in the past. Look at this example. When we arrived, the train had left. We had never seen such a beautiful beach before I went to India. She had gone out when we arrived her home. Look at the first example. When we arrived, the train had left completed action in the past so we use the train had left with past perfect tense because we use auxiliary verb had with verb past participle form left and also it's completed action in the past before something happened before we arrived okay look at the next one we had never seen such a beautiful beach before i went to india here also two completed action once comes with past perfect tense we had never seen we use auxiliary verb had with verb past participle form seen such a beautiful beach before I went to India. Okay, describe two completed action in the past, one after another. Okay, look at the last one. She had gone out when we arrived her home. Okay, here also she had gone out comes with past perfect tense because we use auxiliary verb had with verb past participle form gone it also completed action in the past before something happened before when we arrived her home okay everyone when you consider this example it's clear we can use this past perfect tense to talk about completed action in the past before another action happened okay we can also use this past perfect tense to show that something started in the past and continue up until another action in the past look at this example by the time Alex finished her studies, he had been in London for over five years. Okay, here he had been in London for over five years comes with past perfect tense because we use auxiliary verb had and verb be past participle form been. Okay, here action started in the past and it continued up until Alex finished his studies. Okay, we can use the past perfect tense to talk about something started in the past and continue up until another action in the past. Okay, run. Now let's look at how to make negative statements with past perfect tense. Remember, when we make negative statements, we use not between auxiliary verb had and verb past participle form. Okay, look at these examples. She had not arrived to the office. I had not eaten Italian food before I arrived to Italy. We had not known each other for three months before we married. Okay, look at the first example. She had not arrived to the office. Okay, here we use not between auxiliary verb had and verb past participle form arrived to indicate negative statement. She had not arrived to the office. Look at the next one. I had not eaten Italian food before I arrived to Italy. Okay, <clears throat> here also we use not between had and verb past participle form eaten to indicate that negative statement. I had not eaten Italian food before I arrived to Italy. Okay, look at the next one. We had not known each other for three months before we married. Here also we use same structure to indicate negative statement we use not between auxiliary verb had and verb past participle form non okay run now let's look at how to form questions with past perfect tense when you are going to make questions so we can exchange subject with auxiliary verb had look at these examples had she eaten lunch by noon 
had the trend before they left okay look at the first one it's interrogative sentence ask questions so therefore we use auxiliary verb had at the beginning of the sentence then comes subject she and also after that appear verb past participle form eaten okay look at the next one had the trend before they left he also interrogative question ask questions so therefore we use auxiliary verb had at the beginning of the sentence to indicate questions had the trend then comes subject it and also then we use verb past participle form ran to indicate past participle tense okay everyone in this lesson i mentioned about what is past participle tense i think uh, you learned something about past participle tense okay thank you for watching my video see you soon with another grammar lesson bye bye